Hello everyone. Welcome to the second session of signal sense system. In the last session, we discussed about the basic time related operations on any random signal. So where we discuss about the time shifting, time scaling and time folding signals. Now let's consider a simple example of a continuous time signal X of T as shown in figure. So here I'll be having a signal existing in between 1 to 2 with 1 to 3 with the amplitude of 1 between 1 to 2 and the amplitude of 2 between 2 to 3. And I expected the output as y of t is equal to x of t by 2 minus 1. So let's start how to get this typical result. So now whenever, whenever I'll be having more than one operations involved, any of the signal now I suppose to identify how many signals are there. So first identify what are the different operations need to be performed on the input signal so as to generate the required output. And if there are more than one signal operations, time related operations on the signals, then you are supposed to apply a precedence rule. So now as I'll be having two different operations over here, the first one is a simply time shifting operation and the second in is the time scaling operation. So now in this case as I'll, as I'll be having two different operations involved. So I suppose to apply a typical precedence rule. So what exactly is the meaning of precedence rule? What is going to provide provided by this typical precedence rules? Basically the precedence rule provides me a priority of various operations to be performed on any signal. If I'll be having more than one operations involved in any signal and if it consisting of a time shifting operation then one should perform the time shifting operation first and if it, 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 it has a typical operation of time scaling then the second operation will be time scaling and the last option will be a time folding. So likewise the sequence will be like this you are supposed to perform first time shifting then you have to move to the time scaling and finally you have to go with time folding. Now let's consider the first operation as time shifting. Now here I will be having a typical time shifting of t minus 1. So now I am going to assign a dummy variable as t minus 1 is equal to capital T where the small t is the time instant of the resultant while the capital T is the time instant of the input signal. So if I go through with this equation I will be getting the equation as the small t is equal to capital T plus 1. So what that means? So the time instant of the input signals should be added with a value of 1 so as to get the resultant or the outputs time instant. So now at 1 if I am going to add this particular value then 1 plus 1 it becomes 2. So that will be now shifted to this point and 2 plus 1 is 3 it is shifted over here and 3 plus 1 is 4 so it is shifted over here. So when, while doing any time related operations one must consider that there is no change in the amplitude of the signal. So now the resultant signal after the time shifting will be obtained like this. So now initially it is existing in between 1 to 3 but the resultant will be existing in between 2 to 4. So thus it is shifted by a value of 1. The next operation I need to perform as t by 2 and t by 2 minus 1. For this purpose now my input signal will be its t minus 1 not the x of t because already we performed this operation over there. So now this t minus 1 I will be considering as the input signal or the base signal for the next operation. So my next operation is nothing but it is t by 2 and I am going to assign a dummy variable capital T to this one. So it is the same as the last operation. So the small t provides me the time instant of the output while the capital T provides me the time instant of the input signal. So I will be getting here 
small t is equal to twice of capital T. Now, the small t is nothing but the time instant of the output and capital T is the time instant of the input. So, the time instant of the inputs will be multiplied by 2 or it is scaled by 2. So, 2 to the 4. So, this signal is going to shift over here. 3 to the 6. So, that is going to shift over here. And 4 to the 8. So, that is going to shift over here. So, like this, I will be having the resultant in between 4 to 8. Initially, this signal existing in between 2 to 4. But due to the time scaling, I will be having the expanded version between 4 to 8. So, like this. Whenever I'll be having more than one operations using precedence rule, I can get the resultant of that particular signal. So that's for that's all for today. Thank you.